Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today for our fluency activity, we are actually going to do three different activities, but they all are related to some type of multiplication and division solving problems. So our learning goals are, I can multiply with 10, so that's what we're gonna be doing multiples of 10. I can solve multiplication and division facts within 100. So that just means I'm gonna give you some multiplication problems, you solve them. I'll give you some division problems, you'll solve them. And then the last learning goal says I can complete multiplication and division problems with units one or units of one and zero. So for that one specifically, our focus is going to be on um, multiplication and division problems that have one or zero as one of the numbers within. So let's jump in and get started with our first activity. So we're going to be talking about multiplying with 10. I'll say a fact. You say the whole equation. So I'm going to give you part of it and you actually have to solve it. So I would say 10 times one, and you would say 10 times one equals 10. Let's get started with this first one. So 10 times two, you're gonna say 10 times two equals, and then fill in the blank. So 10 times two, 10 times two equals 20, good job. 10 times three, so go ahead and solve that equation. And it is 10 times three equals 30. Awesome. 10 times eight. 10 times eight equals 80. 10 times five. 10 times five equals 50. Awesome. 10 times nine. 10 times nine equals 90. Okay, so awesome. Now with these problems that we just did, what did you notice about each one of them? Pause the video and think about for just a second. What did you notice about each one of those problems? Yeah, each one of them was multiplying by 10. And anytime you have a number when you're multiplying it by 10, you can just skip count by 10s to be able to solve it. So hopefully you were able to find that pattern to make it easier for you to be able to multiply those problems on your own. So our next activity that we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply or we're gonna divide. So I'll say a fact, you will solve, um, will solve and say the whole equation. So I would say six times one, and you would say six times one equals six. Now this one just happens to have an example with one of the factors as one, but not all of them are gonna be as simple as that one, okay? So here we go. Six times two, start off with a little bit easier of one. So you would say six times two equals 12. All right, so 30 divided by six. Ooh, a little bit trickier now, 30 divided by six. Thirty divided by six is five. So think about how you can use this six and five. So six times five equals thirty. For me, friend, it's always really helpful if I'm missing a number with division. If I can use multiplication to to solve it. So for over here, because I didn't know what the answer was, I could have counted um, by sixes until I got to thirty. So I could have gone six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. And then I have five fingers up because I counted by six five times. Okay, seven times three. Skip count by those sevens, friends. So seven times three is 21. Seven, 14, 21. Awesome. 28 divided by seven. So if you're a little tricky or sketchy with being able to do division with this, Use multiplication. So you know that seven times something is going to be 28. So you can skip count by sevens until you get to 28 and put up one finger for each number that you skip count because that's gonna tell you what you're multiplying or how many you're multiplying. So go ahead and pause the video, try that on your own and click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, so. 28 divided by seven equals four. 
So you could count by seven four times. So seven, 14, 21, 28. Okay, awesome. Eight times nine. Eight times nine is 72. Okay, you can skip count with this as well. Okay. 48 divided by eight. Remember, you can skip count and use multiplication to solve this problem as well. So go ahead and do that. If you need more time, click pause and then play when you're ready to go over it. Okay, so 48 divided by eight equals six. Awesome job, friends. Okay, nine times three. Nine times three equals 27. 63 divided by nine. You can skip count by nines until you get to 63 if you need to use your multiplication. So 63 divided by nine equals seven. Okay, so awesome job with that, friends. Great job with multiplying or dividing. So this next activity that we're going to do has to do with completing the number sentence. So there's going to be an unknown, or um, we're gonna to have to interpret the unknown and to be able to solve part of the problem. So I'll say a fact with a missing number. You'll solve for the missing number and say the whole equation. So I would say blank times one equals six. You would say, Six times one equals six. Remember, friends, that any number times one is always going to remain itself. Okay, so let's do some, let's do the first one together. So blank times one equals seven. Remember, any number times one is going to be itself. So any number times one is going to be itself. So Seven times one equals seven. Nine times blank equals nine. So what's gonna go in there? What do I multiply nine by to get nine? Nine times one equals nine. Awesome. Seven divided by blank equals seven. What do I have to divide seven by to be able to have that equal seven? Seven divided by one equals seven. Awesome. Six divided by blank equals one. Six divided by six equals one. Awesome. So right on friends, you guys did a great job with multiplying with 10, multiplying and dividing, and completing the number sentence. So great work. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.